Recently, pretty sure I told you, I bought a new mattress for the for the fortress over here. Mm-hmm. And holy fuck, dude, has it changed my life? Mm-hmm. Holy sleep, shit, man! You can't can't sleep on sleep. That yeah, doesn't make any sense. And they give me two uh, two uh, free pillows with it too, which uh, they're the weird ones that have like the little spot where you know they give you a, an infographic like, oh, if you sleep like this and your arm goes like this, and you usually put it under your pillow. They okay. have a spot for your arm to go and the <laughs> bend of your elbow. So now I'm just like, wait, so I got to lay on my hand now? I don't want That's, my hand on there. No, so I still no. do under the pillow, you know, mm-hmm. or I just do the whole, you know, this thing. But mm-hmm. yeah, those things in conjunction with my new, uh, my other pillows are, it's just all right. Just some of the best sleep I've had in fucking years. Sleeping is, sleep is important. 40,000 NT dollars well spent. Hey, we're on, buddy. Nice. Hey, are we on? Are we on the internet? We are on the internet. Right on. Welcome, well then, to all of you out there, welcome to Critters in Taiwan, a D&D podcast about Critical Role, where a bunch of nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and & Dragons. I am Bannon Gaosheng. I am Tim and Tai Jong. Cheers, and we're a couple everybody. of critters. Yay. Boink. Hey. Cheers. Hey, cheers, buddy. Cheers. <clears throat> yep. Definitely not water. It's totally water. <clears throat> Might be water. Um, yeah, here. so, uh, hey, uh, tonight we're talking about episode number 40, campaign three, episode number 40, uh, Compulsions. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Compulsions. Yeah. Compulsions. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I, was, I was confused on the last one, the last episode, because mm. I was like, what wait, was, hold on, the like the, the something of war, or the sorry, momentum something of, of murder. murder. Yeah, momentum yeah. of murder. I had completely forgotten that Estros was murdered. Because mm. I was oh. like, wait. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. And like, I was thinking of the title being like, wait, what? And I was thinking of all the things they were doing. And I even mentioned the letters, you know, mm. like not letters, not FCG, but the letters. Right. I'm like, yeah, but I think they're trying to get those letters to people. Like, oh, that's the momentum of war. Jesus. Moment. Right. I, it, was right. A, it was a brain fart, stupid all moment right. for me. Well, this one, this one for me is very appropriate. I like it because there's a lot of compulsion stuff going on. There's, there, it's it sort of, it, these guys, they're getting clever with these things, and I like the I like the the compulsions aspect of this. There's because there's a lot going on. I've got some things to say about that. Okay, so this yeah, will be a I'd theme. Love to hear it. This will be a theme because uh, compulsions um, like. <clears throat> also, I also, I have a feeling this is our last episode for a good solid month. Um, well, unless are, we want to ca- cast about you know the things in between. I mean, we could, campaign we could two do. stuff. I yeah, we, might want to jump on. Uh, okay, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm gonna say let's make that a game time decision because sure. we've got what have I got written down here? Mighty Nine Reunited is November seventeenth, and then uh, they oh shit that's like in two days. Yeah, and then December first. Right, the next so month. they take a little break. Yeah, in between, I yep. think it's their normal break anyway. Anyway, that's right. So they'll be December seventeenth, then they'll take a week off, then they'll do December first, and then the following week, which they have not announced yet. Will be my, will be Bell's Hells campaign three. Right. I have a sneaky feeling. Somebody posted this on Reddit a couple of days ago that there may be nothing until the new year. They may take a long extended Christmas break. And good on them for doing. I've that. I've got no problem with it. I mean, I'll totally. be bummed out. But hey, do what you got to do. Yeah. Uh, as I've told you before, I'm going to Thailand for Christmas and New Year's. So right. I will be very happy if they don't do anything because then I can just <laughs> sit on the beach and just enjoy. Uh, mm. substances. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Right. I mean, as far as that word is concerned, um, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're we're very flexible. The two of us, you know, like mm-hmm. if we really mm-hmm. want to chat about something, then yeah, of course we can. We we'll can do it. Hop on Listen, a phone or something. I, I will. Know. I will bring my. I'll bring a tablet with me, a tablet device with me, and we could. I could stream from the beach. Sure. That would be. That would be if, fun. If we so deem it, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Um, so listen, if we got uh, nothing else to say, let's get right into this episode. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I got like plenty of points here, but they're all pretty fucking small. You know, yeah. that's another one of Again, those uh, very uh, just, easy coasting episodes for me. No, uh, no, uh, no, not not for nothing. These past two episodes have been very smooth. They've been um, yep to the point been and easy. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the 39 momentum of murder and now 40 compulsions. They've been very smooth episodes. They've been straightforward. They've just been going and not a lot. I mean, some fun stuff going on. I, l- I love it all, but it's super been, entertaining and yeah. just like relax and watch. It's yep. f- fucking terrific, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so, let's get some rollies going in, buddy. Let's the rollies. Come on. Right <laughs> Today's your day. Do. I got a three. I got a six. I thought for sure you were going to beat me. That's why I started laughing. I'm like, yep, sticking had, with under 10s. I had nothing under four, uh, 14 last time. So, yeah. you know, Good. there's an ebb and flow. Finally. Okay, well, I am gonna. I wrote down the very first thing that I wrote down um, is my hot take. The flow, this instantaneous flow from episode 39 into the beginning, um, just the way they just transition straight through uh, without even really – um doing anything it just it just it just was a great transition there was no yeah. like oh and last time and then it was this and then there's like a well so what do we do now guys it was very much tells me a couple of things Num- number one um i pr- this tells me that it probably hasn't been a week since episode 39 it might be a day or two oh for the pre-recording um, you mean for the pre-recording stuff so it fe- it felt like they just went straight into it. Maybe they went. They probably went home, do whatever. Maybe the next day. Maybe the day after. Felt very soon after that they did this episode. Um, it makes sense which, too that they're in transit. You know, totally. It's like totally. you just pick up right here. You know, right. It, it's like it, it's you know the it was like a four five hour episode, four and a half hour, and this one's like four and a half, four and fifteen or something pretty like standard, that. Standard, yeah. So yeah, pretty standard episodes. Not not overly long. Um, they just, just the flow straight in. I was like, this is, this is great. It felt really, really smooth, really good. Um, where, where I, uh, where it drives me bonkers is my Curse of Strahd campaign is only playing once a month and, and it's really tough to get. And this is by choice. This is not for anything else. This is by choice. Yeah. We've all agreed on this. Um, we tried to do it a couple of times a month, but scheduling, it's really tough. Um, but by choice, we're we're doing this. It takes a bit. It takes a good solid. You got five people 60. at your table, right? Hmm? You got five people at your table. Five, yeah, five in a DM. That's so tough. Like we've takes... all been in, we've all been in bands before, right? You exactly. know, like a three piece is exactly. much easier to like write songs and and you know totally. get shows organized. But as totally. soon as you get a four piece, that shit compounds. That's yep. exponential. Yep. difficulty and then the and then the five piece uh there's a there's a band here that's like an a, a not eight or nine of them Ghost how do Mark. they get anything done they i have no idea it it requires a band leader I think, right at that point like you'll need a fucking agent or just one person that's yes. gung-ho about the whole thing yeah so with with like with the stuff like when we sit down to play i do my recap and then it takes them a solid 10 minutes just to get any traction, any movement. It's been a there. month. I understand. Yeah, it's been a month. You know exactly. What does my character do again? What what, what can yeah. I do? Oh, why? Yeah. Shit. What Where class am we? I? What oh. were they thinking? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So Wait, when did time. we level up? You know, like yeah. So, so much. When I when I get to watch like Bell's Hells, when they just go straight in from thirty nine, it feels like the next day in real life. Yeah. Uh, it's just boom. It's it's it makes for a great episode right off the hop. It really does. So, you can really so keep that my, momentum going. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's my that's my fucking thing is just a nice nice little good flow thing you like it excellent yeah okay well i'm gonna go ahead and yes and on that and uh jump back a little bit and just say a nice little quick thing about uh sam regal oh. okay. uh in the nord one shot <laughs> oh yeah i forgot that happened last <laughs> week jeez um, that was fun what a great episode what a that great was one shot. so entertaining like yep. you know it was it was great for me because i could just i could just walk and either pay attention or just kind of like mm-hmm. let it go in the mm-hmm. background, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's what uh, I was doing. Just to interject, it, you should go back and watch it because the set pieces were amazing. I watched the second half for sure. Oh, okay. okay the, there was good. a lot going good. on there where just like people yep. are like, or oh, Sam in particular, like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Freaking out. Yeah, it was yeah. funny. <laughs> you, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I've got similar, here. Like, similar to the Crash, similar to the Crash Pandas thing. Yeah, he was just bringing out kids' toys and yeah. putting them on the table for them yeah. to play. Well, with. that's what he does, you Brilliant. know. Brilliant. And like, like that f- first one, I think he did where uh, they had to 
figure out the code to the actual lock that he put on the right, table right right that's fucking, right it's awesome that's yes. so engaging and it's so, so fucking good. fun you know so good so it makes good. it real and f- yep. fantasy at the same time mm-hmm, and then here mm-hmm. he is with this other game sitting here with the lasers and shit <laughs> you know this is a kid's laser game guys like yeah. you got you and they couldn't figure it out they couldn't he figure still it. said it they're kind of hard but then uh yeah. lou got one like fucking immediately because they gave him like yeah. i'll give you 30 seconds but you'll have to come back and you have to battle you have to do yep. that you know but uh, mm-hmm. Lou got that one, but his character did not have that good of an intelligence, so it didn't really work nope. that well for that. But nope. Lou's smart, <laughs> or he's just good at yeah. kids' games. Great, loved it. He's well, he's the guy with the car. Of course, he's not that smart. He's just oh, the guy right. with the car. Yeah, yeah, he just drives. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the guy doesn't have a car anymore. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll find out uh, if he shows up for the next we'll time they out. sponsor. So uh, yeah, uh, if the thing is like Sam, <laughs> Sam plans a lot. Oh, we're getting some lag on your video here. Uh oh. That uh oh came in way late. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe well, let carry on. It's all good. It's fine here. It's fine on my end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the OBS here, it's uh, woof. It's being a little bit of an asshole. I got nothing okay. else open. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, maybe just give it a second to chat, catch up there. Um, what I have written here is uh, Sam plans a ton. You know, mm-hmm. he's got the he's got the outfits. He's got the games. You know, he's got all these things. And then, like in that first half, he was like, "I can't believe it took you guys so long to get in." <laughs> you know, there was a door. You just can't mm-hmm. get through doors for some reason. Nope. There's people oh. calling in. There's you know all kinds of security people, and it's not a violent situation, so they're not going to battle the person through the door. But they they tried to. <laughs> yeah, they tried to, and they're just like, well, "Come on, man, let's take it easy." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's good, and it goes it, it goes great as long as it goes for Sam's plan. If it doesn't go to Sam's plan, it's just fucking chaos, and chaos. that's I think why we tune in. Yeah, totally. totally. <laughs> I I would I will say thoroughly I enjoyed can... it. I can totally relate to that because like the it's it, that's that's peak D and D right there is that when you the DMs like they're gonna do this and then they're gonna do that and then they're gonna go here and all of a sudden you're over in left field, you wanted to go into this tavern and they're in a jungle somewhere <laughs> playing with playing with pixies. I mean that's just that's what D and D really is, is just you, you can't account for like it yeah, yeah. Great. Yep. That's how it works. Love it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Anyway, that's just a quick little point about the Nord mm-hmm. beforehand. Perfect. We're back on our next yeah. rolly, yeah? I, for, I forgot. I, I, until that point, I forgot that there was the Nordverse thing. Yeah. This one might <laughs> be a little bit quick, folks, because uh, uh, we got a couple of things we got to do tonight. So we can sorry about can it. But uh, hey, uh, by the way, oh, you've already rolled shit. I've already rolled. I last I checked, we didn't have any prompts from uh, uh, viewers. No, no, we didn't. We had uh, we had a uh, no, no conversation points from Mr. Hamilton and or other people. No nope. challenges, as they no, nope. as, as it nope. were. <clears throat> no, yeah, okay. last I checked, last, this was uh, this I checked morning. this morning. I think. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> cool. 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 All right, Lynn. It's uh, you got a seven. Wait, Rollies. I got, seven. I got an eighteen. So of course Four. I win. Back. All right, I'm going straight here from the top. Um. Mm-hmm. All right, so the beginning of this episode, you know, started off right where it left off, um, which was, I think, Matthew kind of cut it short. because uh, We talked about this last episode, you know, because, like, he, she contacted her mom, and then okay. her mom was just like, Imogen? And then mm-hmm. and that's where we're going to pick up next time. Because, right. like, Matthew just got to get, hold on, what's she going to say? You know, he's mm-hmm. got to get ready mm-hmm. for this. Mm-hmm. So when they picked up, they're exchanging messages. There yeah. were moments I didn't time them, but I'm going to best estimate, best guesstimate. I think the longest time of no conversation was about maybe 17 seconds. Oh, it wasn't long. Yeah. Are you saying 17 seconds is not long, or am I am I overestimating? Uh, well, what are you, okay? Well, where are you going with this? What I'm going with this is like the thing with people people's podcasts and things like that yep. dead air is something that you really don't want to happen now they do have uh, ambient music going yeah, on i see what you're saying but when the actors are not saying anything right. it could sound like dead air what i'm putting forth is it was not dead air gotcha when i first listened yeah. i was listening to it and i wasn't watching it because i was mm-hmm. i was on the move and uh, i was sitting there like I, I, i'm guessing again 17 seconds it was a 17 seconds of acting. Yeah. 
of yeah, proper, I, like useful, you know, like uh, it, it had something to do with the story. Like, okay, okay. you know, like what did she say? It's like, oh, I don't remember what the pause was, what the long pauses were, but it mm-hmm. felt like it was absolutely necessary, absolutely Dramatic, well done. Yeah, added drama is what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, I, I, that's a that's an interesting thing because I didn't actually pay attention to that which i guess is exactly the point yeah, yeah. um that that felt like it felt like to me that there was there were, well i see the difference between you listening to it and me watching it when i'm looking at all their reactions and the way that they're all sort of like staring across the table at laura and uh, doing this stuff like as imogen yeah. doing her her acting thing it's sort of yeah it felt it just felt very natural all of yeah. it yeah you know, do you sure. think about like 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 an action movie or something like that, where things are just mm. like bang, bang, bang. You click, got like click, 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 half click, click, second click. clips yeah. that are cut in, right? Yeah. And then you have a dramatic moment where mm-hmm. they spend seconds upon seconds of somebody's just reaction or reacting, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, that's written into the director's right. idea of the whole thing. Right. Of the course, this is action. not a written show, but when they're sitting there and it was silent for that long. Yeah. It let me get into my head and think about stuff. I wasn't sitting there and be like, see. guys, you got to start see. talking. You guys, this is a podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, no, not for a moment did I think that. Right. Until my yeah. second playthrough. All right, watch Interesting, through. interesting take on that. I never actually really thought about it. I mean, I was more focused on the actual vibe of it, where where they were, um, where. The, where, where the converse, what the what the conversation actually meant, right? Not so much the actual reaction to it, but what the underlying crypticness of it was. Not That's where my brain the negative was sort of, space. Yeah, not so much. I wasn't even really that, that doesn't that doesn't come across on my radar at all. So cool. Yeah, that was, that was I, a big sort of, piece for me. Yeah, mm-hmm, was that nice. negative space. Yeah. Well, then I will yes end that with the whole thing about the. Um, about what I got out of that conversation, the back and forth where she was casting sending as well, <clears throat> was the super crypticness of it. I got at first I got the vibe of this is mom totally protecting her daughter. Yeah. And that's all it was. And then I started thinking it's all it's about ever been. I don't think so. Okay. I got I got another Here I got, we go. hot takes, motherfuckers. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't really have one. But I do think that there is something underlying there. There, there is, there are secrets that she can't tell Imogen that have nothing to do with protecting her, and she's using the protection theme as a shield against what what it actually means. I completely agree. Where is um, Lily, L- L- Liliana? What the fuck's her Lelaine. name? Lilane. Lilane. Where is she? Lelaine, Lelaine Temmel. She's Temmel. like, I can't tell Temmel. you because I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to keep you safe. I don't even think that's r- real. I think that she's just like, I can't tell you. Yeah. I can't tell you. It's like when somebody and, has a surprise birthday coming up, you know, it's like, wait, w- hey, come on, man. You, uh, you want to go to dinner at six on this day? And be mm. like, I can't. I have <laughs> a proctologist appointment. <laughs> appointment, you know? Right, like, sure. No, you don't. You just had one two weeks ago. <laughs> Oddly specific. Uh, the, <laughs> I think I think there is something very different going on in my spec. Right off, I, I don't even really want to say this, but I will anyway because why the hell not? Oh, boy, I, here think, we go. I think I think Thule and her are in cahoots. Maybe more. They might be one in the, the same. same person. Yeah, I had that thought. Yeah. It's a common theme that's running across a bunch of people's minds. This is I'm not the only one to so I was thinking it and I'm like, what has chat got to say about it? And yeah, sure enough, somebody piped up in chat and then on Reddit and there's there's a bunch of people that are thinking the same thing. It's a weird one. Yeah. It's a weird it one. Is. And to tie it's, that together would be a little bit it, tough because they're not shade creepers. They're not sure, but they could be they're they're they this is the, when we're talking about mind stuff here, it all it could be is just consciousnesses in different people's bodies. It could be a lot of stuff. Shit. Yeah, it could yeah. be a bunch of different things. Yeah, like, two things that came across my mind was like especially when Laura said Laura uh, as Imogen, I suppose, Imogen said, um, you know, I can't imagine she's anything's more dangerous than Thule, you know, mm. like at this point in their, in their adventuring career. And that's when I was like, maybe, maybe she knows exactly everything yeah. about Thule, 
right? Yeah, exactly. And then there my second thought was maybe on. she's one of the gods locked in there, and like you yeah. should not fucking start tampering uh-huh. with this fucking gate. Don't don't open don't open the box, man. Yeah, don't open the box. And I don't watch chat. You know, I never mm-hmm. watch chat, like <laughs> as opposed to some fucking viewers here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I never I, watch I, chat. I, I don't want to see what they do. I don't want to see what they say. Hey man, I go. I I watch chat for the same reason that I have. I I I, I scroll through Twitter on my during my morning coffee right. just for the laughs, just for the laughs, just for the lols. Yeah, that's it. Hey, let's do some more rollies. All right, let's get through these things. I got a I got a big one here. I I need to win this one because I've got okay. a good. Okay, well it's hard to win with a nineteen, buddy. Nine. I mean, with my nineteen, I haven't rolled over. I haven't rolled over a ten in two weeks now. All right, well, I might I might swap out dice. No, if you've got a, I wish I could, but my fucking shit hasn't shown up yet, man. Mm. Takes a while to get over here, man. China opens all their packages. Okay. Um, okay, I'll just do this one here. I guess it's from the okay. top then. Um, the ladder, when they were in the okay. skyship, um, I don't remember exactly what was going on. Um, I'm two and a half oh, this times is, through this it. This is after the break when they get into the jungle? I believe so. And like okay. they, yep. uh, I believe it was Orem. He was saying, I'm sure it was Orem. He was saying something about like, hey, let's go here. And uh, I knew that they were going to, the first two times through it, I didn't absorb a lot about the okay. second half. But the third time through, a lot of shit came in. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I, I've watched the second half three times, the first half two times. Okay. Um they were like, hey, we can stay here. And then uh, Matthew said, as the, what's the name of the goddamn captain? Zandis. Zandis. I think I'm going to. X, X-A-N-D-I-S. Captain Zandis. Hey, Mark. I-S. <laughs> yeah. Z- Z-A-N-D-I-S. Is that right? X-A-N. Uh, sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I keep getting it wrong in my fucking voice mm-hmm. notes. Captain Zandis. Um, Matthew was the one that was like, hey, we'll just throw down a ladder just in case you want to go down there. It's like nobody yeah. was really thinking about going down there yeah, at that point. Yeah, I caught point. that too. I caught and, uh, it too. I think that Matthew was like, hey, guys, check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. It was very much an NPC leading the way. Yeah? Yep. That's 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 a, that's a, that, that's um, my point entirely. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, no, it's a 100%. I caught it as well. And I was like, oh, that's okay. That's... It's it's not railroading, but it's railroading. It's like, yeah. hey guys, I want you to go down here. Here's so a strong suggestion. Here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the, and again, it's a trust thing, right? It's like, okay, oh, the the captain Zandis said it, then we must do it. Yeah. It's sort of like, a, hey, let's just go and do this thing. I think we talked about this a bit yeah, last week about the the whole idea of this sort of really moving and moving and moving, and it feels like Matt wants to keep things moving in a certain direction, and the party is. The rest of the table, the party is very keen to follow on that note, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's great. The momentum um, of a murder still continues, no, man. Sure. We don't want to sure. lull right now. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, got, I I caught it, and I agree with it, and I, I you're 100% right. It was very much Matt going, hey, guys, as opposed to us fucking around and you, you guys dithering and mm. unsure where to go, I'm going to give you the little, drop the little, there you go. Yeah. It's like yeah, and you could you could say it's it, it falls behind the idea that uh, Zandis knows the ship, so he's he's not subverting, you know, like they're the new owners, so mm-hmm. he's not saying like, hey, I'm gonna go above your authority and say, hey, let's just drop this just in sure. case. He can be like, sure. oh, a lot of times people do this. It also doesn't take much to drop a ladder, uh, mm-hmm. you know, like a rope ladder like that. Well, so they- it felt like. Very, very obvious that it was Matthew being like, guys, had they, go had ahead. They seen, had they, had they had seen the old watchtower at that point, right? Like they were hovering so, yeah. over it. Yeah. And he was, and Zandis was very much like, okay, if you want to go, then here, I'll drop a ladder down if you want to go down. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I <laughs> guess we could go down there then. Yeah. It was, I think there was sort of a, you see this, and then Matt was like, they're not, they're not Let's taking go. the bait. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll throw another, I'll throw another carrot down there and maybe they'll. Maybe they'll jump at the carrot. You know, yeah. it's sort Come of. On, guys. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it felt to me. Yeah, yeah, you cool. caught it too. All right. Hey. Yeah, that I makes, caught it right away. I was makes like, you yeah, feel so good. smart when you catch the same thing that I do because usually you catch shit that I don't. I'm catching yeah. other shit, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's why this works. Uh, I will, I'm going to just yes and not yes and. I'm going to, I'm going to yes, okay, that one and bring it. Bring it back before they get to the gloom. new realm jungles. now. There was like counterpoint. We got rid of that. Now there's yes and and yes okay. 
fuck. I'm going to go. I'm choose which jump, one. I want to jump back to a thing that I really observed that uh, not just me, but I was really struck by it because one of my complaints, complaints, one of my, one of my gripes, one of my Getting negative com- over here, Uh-oh. comments, one of my comments for the past few weeks has been the lack of RP and the, the, just this, the pace has been pretty relentless and we haven't had these moments of them, the downtime, them okay. sitting around and actually saying things. The moment that after it was right after uh, Fern, Orem, and Chet's fight, where Orem was pretty rocked and he sort of was like, "Yeah, pretty busted up. I'm going to go sit at the front of the boat and the front mm. of the ship and just chill." And then he started talking to the to Dory and he sends the message out and you know whatever. Um, and and Ashton comes over and sits. That down. was a real nice message. There it was. Well, and I'm I'm really excited to see what Robbie's going to come up with and send yeah. it back. It's going to be great. Yeah, it seemed um, like they I'm, let it go for a while, but then Matthew was like, you know what? Yeah, he came back with that. I'm actually sure. getting in touch with Robbie. Let him record something. Yeah, and he'll re- he'll record something, and they'll play it on air, and it'll be fucking yeah. wonderful. Be like, be, remember it's... back on the ship? Uh, this is what he said. <laughs> totally. I love that. I love. I, I hope they. That would be wonderful if they did that more often. It would be great. I think they did it a bit in campaign one, never in campaign two. So it'd be good to 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 hear that sort of a thing. Did they not do it in campaign two? Don't think so. They did it in they, campaign one, like. Twice? Yeah, a couple of times. A couple of times. With Rothfuss, uh, right? Yeah, and uh, I believe. Oh, what's uh, her... Yep, and and I think uh, what's her name? No, that was Kaliana was campaign too. Um, oh, so maybe the Dragonborn chick with the oh yeah, yeah. with the bowl yeah bowl gate yeah, with yeah the bowl. you're right you're right. Did she? No, I think they just read her letter. I don't think they actually did the voiceover of Kaliana. I don't think so. I think Kaliana had... Oh, fuck. Maybe they did. Eh, hey. Get in touch. Get, Get in touch. touch on there. Um, anyway, my... <laughs> That's <our> fallback. <laughs> my, my point is that when, when Ashton says, like, everyone back here is saying that you're the good one and you are the good one in the group, and, and Oren was like, oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're all the reason why. The, the, what the, I, I don't, just want to sort of summarize the entire thing up. This is like what he said, and I'm not. I'm not going to go into the details because it's not worth it. But yeah, every, that whole conversation, especially mostly from Orem, it per in my mind perfectly explains why a D and D party works. Why it sort of it is the it is the exact reason why. Number one, it sucks to be alone. It in D and D, you you it can't work. That's across it, universes. It's it's just it's just dimensions. We're, we're, humans and and just and and we're all let's face it we're all humans it doesn't matter if you're playing an orc or an elf or whatever like animals man. Are, we're social animals we're all social creatures the hermits are rare exceptions that don't really fit in even hermit um, crabs love hanging out with each other yeah, exactly They're, sure the 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 idea of, of <laughs> sure. it sucking, sucking to be alone <laughs> and and the fact that like uh, I've I've heard this multiple multiple times about the the over uh, overacting of the dra- dramatic characters and I'm so traumatized and I'm so broken and I'm so crazy and whatever it doesn't even matter it doesn't matter because this is where the party fits in like listen just just a quick one it none of them should be hanging out with Imogen. None of them. If I had a friend like Imogen, I'd be like, see ya, I'm out. I'm going to the bar, I'm going to have a beer. I don't want to be around you at all. You are broken. You are dangerous. You summon red fucking being things from that hurt us. You bring lightning storms into... A, be, into a, I don't want to be any part of you. You're clearly... You, you're reading everyone's thoughts and listening to everyone's... Get out of yeah. here. I don't want any part of you. But in D&D... It works. It just right. it re, it's part of the reason why a party works. It's like the and idea of hanging out with somebody who gets belligerent after a shot of tequila. It's exactly. like if you're gonna have tequila. All right, I'm mm-hmm. out. I'm out. <laughs> right. It's like yeah, we Pretty all have simple. that belligerent drinking buddy. You know who you are. Yeah. The the it's we're not pointing at each it, other. Orem perfectly explains why a D and D party works here, and that to me was. Um, a couple of things right off the top of my head is Liam really growing as a D and D player and playing enough games now and get enough games under his belt to realize these things and sort of bring them into a, into a character fold, um, and and sort of Talison bringing that out with uh, with Ashton as, you know, just just good, just really really good. 
I found it and continue to find it a little bit odd that Ashton made the choice to go and hang out with Orm. Like, you know, when, when uh, know. Taliesin said it, yep. he was like, I've got, a, I've got an idea here. You know, like he yep. wants to do some RP with this person. Yep. And, um, the, and I and have then, a, the, I, I have a, I have an explanation on my mind. I think I know why. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I think it's because Orem is the only one that Ashton could actually do it with. And I think Ashton actually, actually, because Ashton he's the good one has to, <laughs> no, not because he's the good one, because he's the one that would actually, well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, uh, calm combat verbally spar back. Maybe because he is the good one, because he is the nice one, because he is the one that wouldn't actually talk shit about Ashton or be, uh, be, or, or gets wrapped up in his own shit. That Orem is the one that would actually let Ashton talk. I guess Fern would go into chaos. Chetney would make it all about himself. Laudna would just get depressed. Imogen would be would, would get withdrawn. Imogen and Laudna probably both would get withdrawn. But Orem would actually be able to let Ashton talk, and that's why Ashton sort of went there. It was like you're you're the one that I actually could do this with. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing American Sign Language. What oh, about okay. FCG? Ah, they're they're two they're old friends. They do this all the time. Remember they they've been together for a lot longer than the rest of the party. So very strong this point. Is, yep. This is this is so FCG and and Ashton already have a rapport. This is Ashton branching out and finding somebody else. And it ha in my mind it has to be Orem. It had to be Orem. So you're it saying have been anybody that else. Ashton is looking for a rapportum. Ah, wow. I'll stick with it. <laughs> let's let's workshop that. That's <laughs> No, it doesn't get any better than that. Come on. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I was a little I was a little weird by it, you know, cuz yeah, didn't, I didn't yeah. feel like that much came from that conversation. So I was left thinking like, why did uh Talison make that decision for Ashton to go and talk with him? Again, I didn't again, feel I like anything came from it. I think it's just because he Ashton is Feeling, I have another point. He about always this has his walls up later on, um, which is ooh, boy, it's a little bit. Uh, burder, 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 Where is it? Nope. Yep, I, I wrote it down. I can't find it. It's all good. Yeah, maybe I'll find. Oh, I think it was when they're in the in the in the chimera battle, and I think it's. The when when Orem jumps on uh, Ashton's back and is like, "Sorry, man." Like they had the the whole touch thing. I think it's just, I think it's really just about Ashton being in pain all the time, and this is a way of him. He's just slowly starting to trust people again and trying to release some of the pain. I don't know. It's a, it's Talison plays complicated characters. Yeah, we also said like when you feel pain all the time, it just becomes background noise. He said right. that during the hug. At the yeah. end, right? Yep. Yep. At the end of that conversation. Mm hmm It's like, yeah, I loved it. You know, it was like, and I go in for this bear hug of a halfling, yep. you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the strength of a halfling. And he's like, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, he's still yep. playing it well. Like, yep. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it it's, fucking hurts. It always hurts. And I think that's like, it's one of those things that we, we forget about. It's like, this is, this is a choice. This was a character choice. I don't know. I found it, I found it very perfect. I found it really um touching it is very much him coming trying to come out and do a thing and be like the uh, i gotta make friends i gotta i gotta start to be with these people so yeah all right shall we move forward let's do it that's my first page the rest of mine are pretty uh pretty short and pretty simple mm -hmm. hey you rolled over 10 hey i rolled under 10 i rolled a 12 i rolled a nine okay i want to talk about um the uh the reflavored summer aberration so, summer the, the reflavored summer uh, the reflavored summon aberration spell that Imogen casts um this is what the ruby was for that was a lot of syllables i didn't understand yep okay so remember during the chimera battle chimera and the cockatrice battle yeah fucking fantastic battle by the way yeah. what a 
beautiful, fun thing that was. And fucking they, Ronan getting to choose. You know, they were freaked <laughs> out by these. They didn't. None of them recognized them as cockatrice. First off. Uh, which made me laugh because I'm like, yeah, I thought you guys played chickens. some D&D at home. They're little <laughs> dog chickens. I think Matt threw them off by saying they were little dog-like lizard chicken things. They did not recognize. I was like, those are cockatrice. I know that shit anyway. And then the, and then the, the, the chimera comes up and, um, and they thought it was, I was thought it think it was a dragon too. I was like, oh, okay, it's just, it's just, then when they, when they put the model down, I'm like the mini down, I'm like, ah, it's a, it's a chimera. It's I was quite sure it wasn't going to be a dragon because they keep baby. on saying it and he's like, yep. and you see the head of a dragon, like, yep. but it's not a dragon. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. It's a head of a I dragon and coming. the head of a, yeah, head of a goat and the head of a lion. Yeah. Yeah. Man. It's great. Um, but no, no, no. So then Imogen during that battle, she saw, she, uh, pulls out the Ruby and the 400, remember that 400 gold piece ruby that she bought last episode? Well, yep. that replaces, you'll love this one. So for some an aberration, this one, this one replaces a pickled tentacle and eyeball in a platinum inlaid vial worth 400, worth at least 400 gold pieces. Jesus. Beautiful spell component. War, it's a warlock slash wizard um, uh, spell. But you gotta they, they, be fucked up or know some fucked up people to c- procure totally, that kind of a thing. Totally. And and the whole the whole thing it's it, you get three choices. Um, Imogen has gone with the Star Spawn, which is the one that she does, which is psychic damage. But there's also a Slod, which is like claw damage, and then there's a Beholderkin, which is uh, magic damage. I think I forget what the damage of that one does. So you get three choices: you get Beholderkin, Slod, or uh, Star Spawn. And she's gone with a weird reflavored version of a star spawn, which is this red amorphous sort of ruidous flavored thing. Yeah. Um, fun choice because that wisdom save does psychic damage to everybody around it. Right. So it's not again, choice. Yeah. It's again, not enemies. This is, yeah. Yeah. This is, this is everybody. This is not just enemies. This is allies and anyone, anyone nearby as Chetney took a bunch of damage. And I was, I was seeing a lot of, uh, people questioning it on chat and in um, Reddit's that were people were saying like, "Well, why would she do that? That's the second time she's done this terrible spell." And blah blah blah. I'm like, y- y'all like they remember the when she did that AOE spell, the lightning, the one that yeah, the did all that shit. Dark area where it's yeah, yeah. So rough again, terrain, whatever. Yeah, again, not good, but whatever. But then I started thinking, I'm like, yeah, except. Er, this is exactly the time in the 30s, well, in the 30s, early 40s, when Ford in Campaign 2 was casting Bulgara. And, and poor Bulgara. There you go. He doesn't, he, he would have control of the thing for a hot second and then, nope, now it's a, now you're all on your own. So <laughs> they got lucky in that they never really had to fight the damn thing. Um, and hopefully they'll get lucky where they won't have to fight this star spawn as well. But again, like summoning things is not always good. It's it's not always. It's, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's like sort of roll the dice kind of a thing. It kind of goes back to what you were it's saying risky. before. It's risky. You know, be like, dude, yep. this chick. I mean, yep. she's fine to hang out with for a bit, but I'm not going to yep. go to a second location with this person. Totally. If Imogen was in my... If Imogen was on my radar, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to take a wide berth of this one. Yeah. Be like, oh, but hey, I mean, nice, nice seeing you honestly, again. Honestly, if, if Ashton was in my wide circle, I'd be like, yeah, fun drinking, buddy. But once shit gets weird, I'm out. <laughs> sure, know, like, yeah. If, and if, if, all of them. And this is why, this again, back to the point, this is why D&D parties work so well, because they're all fucking crazy. Yeah. So they, they've they all got a little bit of fucking crazy to them. So it just works. And of course, you can imagine us yep. being humans, as far as I know. Um, somebody that has this issue, you know, with like, I mean, the way that you and I both imagine it now that you've put Mm -hmm. it in my head, like, yeah, I would Mm -hmm. totally avoid that chick. Mm -hmm. She probably gets that all the fucking time. She got it with her dad. Like, dude, I don't like having, you know, she says having somebody read your thoughts all the time, like capable of reading your thoughts all the time. It would be awful. Stay away from that. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of secrets, you know, but like if I'm sitting there, I'm like, if she's like, what kind of porn did he look at last? I'd be like, well, I don't know. Hey, hey. <laughs> maybe maybe six months down the line when we become friends or maybe yeah. we start dating, sure. But even, even then, you, uh, secrets, man, boundaries, right? It's yeah. A, it's a thing. So, I yeah, I just... I don't I have porn wanna... secrets, but yep. she could yep. get in there and she'd just know them before they're ready to be revealed, you know? It's a... Totally. So in that r- respect, she would, like, 
it, since she sees it happen all the time, mm-hmm. she would be more apt to cling. Yeah. And so yeah. she's got one amazing friend who died, and she nearly lost her fucking mind trying to get her back to life. Totally. Totally. Makes sense. Yeah, anybody else? Weird. I don't think she gives a fuck about anybody else. Well, I don't think, I think that's sort of a theme of all of them, right? Like, that's kind of a thing that all these cast members do with their characters, and that's right. why they gel. Like, even Orem doesn't give a fuck about it. Even FCG doesn't give a, form, uh, a fuck about anybody. Well, it's, it's this weird blend of of player, character, and the metagaming that happens in the middle of that, where you're sort of, you're sort of, you're, you're blending all of these factors together, and this is D&D. They had some pigeons in that uh, in that jungle. Oh fuck yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So that's the thing. Like, it's the weird blend of how these all these three things. Like, you're, you're, we're players, and then we're characters, and then there. Where does the metagaming play into that? And where does the what do I what do I know? And what does my character know? And it's not always clear. The lines are always blurred. And that's D and D. That's D and D. It's a fun game, dude. Durn dur. Durn dur. Are we back on rollies? Uh, I think that was mine. I think you're yes and. I got a yes and. Oh man, I don't have much for yes anding at this point. Um, we could do a rolly then. Yeah. Sure. Let's go ahead and do a rolly. Fuck it. Okay. But doink, with a natural five. Uh, eight. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> you wanted me to go. Kind of. Oh, that's this is no. I got a good one here. So again, this is another. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. Damn it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with the. Ba- I'm gonna stick with the battle because I had something else I wanted to say about that battle. Hmm. The Ashton's newest rage feature, this permanent bane slash bless. He's got a new uh, one. Yeah, the, it was during the battle. He kept rolling a four, and he's like, oh, "It's plus four. It's minus four. It's plus oh, four. Okay, minus okay, four. yeah, yeah, yeah." This new one is a fucking plus four, game minus four changer, instead of d four. Yeah, My, minus he, he rolls a d. He, he kept rolling fours on a d four. He did keep rolling so, fours for like the first so like three is, or four. Yeah, yeah. This is like a permanent with his rage. It's basically he's got it's. It, 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 it I've got a couple of thoughts about this one. The, the um, he, the the fact that he's getting all of these weird chaos bursts and the dunamis features of the uh of his rages they're they're lending more to where uh the zealot barbarian that ashley was um which is the so ashley which which yasha was ashley playing that right with the with her um the the fact that she had all these other features as opposed to just the berserker that grog was which was just damage 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 i'm noticing and- that Ashton's meat cushion, yeah, right. Ashton's um, smashing ability is leveling off. He's not doing as much damage as a as the other ones are because he's getting these these trade off things like this perma bane bless thing that's out there. Like he's just like you know, always rolling a d four. Anybody within ten feet of me, I, I roll a d four and you add it to your thing. And it's a it's a Caduceus sort of carry o- carryover because he loved. The the bane and that support the role. I mean, that Bane's support role, amazing, yeah, huge and bless on the on the other ones. Yeah, this is both. This is both bane and bless. That's and I'm huge. It's, it's huge. It's only within ten feet, so it's he doesn't get to choose who it is. He's but but as a barbarian, he's going to be in the thick of things. So anybody who's around him within ten feet, bubble around him, is going to be in, is going to need that extra plus four minus four on the on whatever is going on so it is it is really still it's not i'm not saying it's op because he does there is clearly a trade-off uh doing way less damage on his own things but it's a buff debuff sort of a situation and i love it i love it i think it's fucking great i do love it too i think it's a wonderful it's it's the it's the other thing about where i was saying about about ashton sort of coming in and being more of a team player now where he, when he does this thing, it sort of is like, Hey, you get things from me and I'm really contributing to the group as a whole going in, talking to Orem, going in and doing these, you know, all of this, this helping out the rest of the party during combat. It's Ashton really coming into his own here, their own here, whatever. Well done with the pronouns. Um, 
it's I I I figured out what it is. It's because I'm looking at Talison when this is happening, and he's a that's he, what everybody's doing. Him, you know. And it's like it's it's it's, it's like yeah, figuring out the remembering the the pronouns for imaginary characters is tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a second step. You know, that's pretty tough. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh, I think, according to Wikipedia, that Taliesin goes by he, him, and or they. Sure. I, I but, but I, I'd have to double check that. But no idea. But anyway, way, that was that tough. was sort of a thing that I noticed about his, the um, this this you know this new rage feature that he brought out this first time. It's just fucking amazing. Love it. I loved right. it. That was great. Well, then I'll I'll, I'll keep a Taliesin a little based here. Um, okay. I felt very alone on this one when I watched this for the third goddamn time when okay. Tarv was sitting there, you know, uh, and talking to the, these lycanthropes of, mm -hmm. I say lycan, you know, lycan is very, it's wolf based, yep, but there must is. be different terms for the tiger, for the panther, for the boar. No, that's a, that's a thing that, that we, it's that, a word that uh, derives from lycan, it's right? It's all lycanthrope. They're right. all in D and D vernacular. They're all lycanthropes. There's a it's werewolf, a were tiger, were right. boar, okay. were everything, were, were, were over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all lycans. That's all so lycanthrope. They, so they had like this, uh, like Open Three. They had this uh, little conversation where it's like, oh yeah, hey, well, you're you're willing to do it. That's great. If like you're gonna stick around, it's like we got a lot to learn. Give me a few weeks or something. And then they're all like, whoa, a few weeks. You don't have like a quick. <laughs> you lost your fucking dice again. Oh, it's way the fuck over there. I'll be. Right. I'm listening. Go. That's what you get. That's what you get for playing with it. I tell I tell my students this in class all the time. It's way over there. I'll be right back. <laughs> Fuck, I should take this moment to take a piss, too, because I really... Oh, look at Lacey back there. I actually got Lacey on camera for that for that moment. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she's plopped down over there. There she, she is. is. Well, best girl. Oh, what the fuck was I saying? Um, okay, yeah, that's, that's all beside the point. Yes. Um, they're like, well, we can't be here for this long. There's another overlying point that I probably won't get to today. Um... When You're talking about said, Travis sitting over in something. Yeah, what well, yeah, I got it. Um uh where Travis, the actor, says, um, I look forward to making myself available, you know. And then of course what everybody triggers into when they hear the word making mm. is, you know, the the trope. Making my then, way. Yeah. So then Sam, of course, goes, making myself available. <laughs> 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 Which I felt alone on this because I lost my mm -hmm. shit all three times that I watched it. And I, in fact, more than that, probably seven, eight, nine times that well, I watched it because I went back and watched it it's multiple the absurdity, times. Right? It's the absurdity, right? It, it, it changes the fucking lyric to something so damn stupid. Yep. Like, like making myself available, like that doesn't work in a song, any mm -hmm. song whatsoever. Nope. It's not nope. a lyric that should have. Nope. So he's just saying, making myself available. He's, <laughs> and, uh, 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 Marisha. She's like, such a stretch. Yeah. And they're like, so she he got a laugh from her. He got a laugh mm -hmm. from Laura. Mm -hmm. a, like a like a face change from Liam and everybody, mm -hmm. you know, like everyone else is kind of like, whatever. Yeah. They just toss it aside. Yeah. However, Talison let it in. He looked over and he smiled and he was like, that was good. <laughs> like, he didn't say that, but he was like, mm -hmm. that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good. You know, mm -hmm. which is what we were talking about last time too. It's like, he's in his element sometimes. Sometimes he's awkward or, or what, what was the word you said? Uh, I don't remember. You had a word. Oh, it was, it was the right word. I have lots of words. <laughs> you have the best words. <laughs> you should run for president. All um, the best words. All the best words. Yes. The best words. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, sometimes he's, natural sometimes he's that other word that you that you had the last time and this time it was just very natural and i, mm. I loved seeing that in talus and thoroughly enjoying that moment as much sure. as i did or maybe half as much as i did because i fucking loved that moment that was hilarious <laughs> i feel so, strange yeah. that i'm the one that laughed harder than anybody like he had times. another he had another really good one the 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 big the big print giveth and the small print taketh away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was that, that was, was a while a, back, wasn't it? No, that was this one. It was that a real this episode. Was, yeah, it was this episode. Hold on, he may a have second. said it before, he must have but said he it said before. it. Maybe he did, but it made me chuckle. I was like, "That's a that's a good one." I got to remember that one. The big print giveth and the small print taketh away. Yeah, I believe that. I may have, I may have missed it. Yeah, hey, I, I just dropped my dice over in the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna be back oh. in twenty seconds. Okay. <laughs>
fill them in with, you know, like, uh, okay. how'd you get that lamp in the back corner? Yeah. yeah. The, the, the place that, the Swedish place that makes you put shit together. Um, which, and it, and it doesn't work anymore. That's, I don't even know why I still have it. Um, I do want to quickly say that this episode may have had the greatest moment coming back from break with, uh, Ashley drinking clearly too much, uh, Dr. Pepper and <laughs> the entire cast turning and staring at her and Tra- Travis with the greatest one. Did you fart out of your mouth? I was in I was in tears when I first saw that. It was the just amazing and a, a wonderful little fucking thing that happened that right at the very beginning. Um it was a good it was a really really good fun come back from break moment with uh a lot of Dr. Pepper. And then and then her explanation of it where she was trying to hold back and trying not to uh let it onto camera and failing miserably quite good quite good man if i plan on having drinks during casting i should probably just stream from the bathroom that'll be that'll be an interesting one you make money you make money doing that i mean nobody else knows what i'm wearing below the nips you know Mm -hmm. they can barely read Um, my shirt i think that's i think that's it i think we got another rollie coming on or is that what did i do a uh, I believe that's a yeah. That was my yes and yeah. That okay, was my yes let's do another roly. I got a, I got a couple more. I got a couple more. Yeah, I got a couple more. Too. Nice little four. A natural natural twenty. All oh, right, Ben, wasting it well, on my four. I know it was such a sad thing. Um, listen, I'm just gonna throw the uh, this. Um, it's not a big one, but it is a uh, it is a one. It is a thing. Um, with when they're when they. The rest uh, of mine just, are small. Just before they actually meet the Gorgonai, it's um, it's Chet's little uh, explanation to FCG. Maybe uh, I forget who he was actually talking to. Talking about the what what respect the Alpha actually means. Oh yeah, and he yeah. does he does a little the alpha, a little respect monologue. Respect the Alpha. Yeah, yeah. It's re- re- like re- you know respect the Alpha. It's not it's not so much about being right. It's not being the Alpha. It's like just. Respecting the alpha and and understanding that the alpha is actually in all of us, and there's a little bit of that in us, and we have to find it and use it. And it it was actually a little bit of interesting because Chetney is this fucking gr- little evil gremlin, and and it's under the guise of a of an old man, a crotchety old Statler Waldorf type. But the it's, the it's not quite as cool sounding as identify the alpha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's it it made it made a sort of it made a little bit more sense of where where Travis had actually thought this character through as opposed to it being like a off the cuff old bro frat bro that just it was get was old and decrepit and being weird and creepy and stuff. It's actually are you some... talking about Travis or Chet right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect uh, answer. The it, it it made me it made me smile. I was like, that's a fun little honest take on who chetney actually is and and it was and it sort of played in to where chetney was about to go and about about to meet because he clearly knew that he was going to meet a bunch of these Mm. and there was there was sort of a i'm going to set myself up to you know sort of pump yourself up a little bit um they also as soon as they did that howl right directly after that 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 one jumped did she oh yeah oh yeah (laughs) And I rewound it, and she perked up a little bit. But it was it, the moment was sort of it was it was the first initial one where she jumped and was like, "What in the fuck is going on here?" And I rewound <laughs> it, and I did it again, and then she was like, "A little bit, okay, all right, all right, all right." All right. That shit I sits think, deep, man. She, yeah, she was she was ready for some ready for some action when it she, when it happened. Man, she's a, she's a fucking fighter, I guess. Yep, it was cute. That's yep. cute. That's my uh, natural twenty. My jumping on that, I got I got like quick little tiny things. Okay. Okay. Um, um when this new campaign started, um mm-hmm. you know, first campaign we had Gilmore, second campaign we had the Pumat Souls, and this has come up in our uh casts before. Everyone's mm-hmm. uh everyone, I'm speaking for everyone, says like, Oh, who's the new person gonna be? He's spreading it out between mm-hmm. these people. You know, he's yep. got, yep. like, yep. the first one that really came up was Xandis, you know, which sure. I'm finally getting his name right, sure. I think. You are? 
Um, uh, after that, he had uh, Pate, mm-hmm. you know, and then after that, <laughs> there was one person in this episode that I missed this last time through. Yeah, I'm not sure why I missed it. It was it was in the Gorgon Gorgonai area. Yep. Yeah, where somebody said that something was hot or something was sexy or something like that when they changed or something, and then uh, Matthew's response was right in the vein of Sinecure from Campaign One. Oh, they were like they. He said something like, "Thank you." It, like I can't do the voice, but it was Garth Algar, you know, from mm. Wayne's World, and it was okay. very much that. And I was like, "Ooh, there's another voice," you know. Like okay. I don't think it's gonna be very permanent or any semi permanence, but. It was a really, you know, he like he got to. Was that the? I think oh. that might have been the panther. That might have been the wear panther. Uh, Could have been if it was the sexy that, part because they all said I it was sexy. I think so because that the, was the one. That was the one that uh, the Laudna road yeah. was carried by. Because she I wanted think, the, she, the color scheme was. Right. Yeah, I think yeah. that was. I think that was where, and that that voice was very. Uh, maybe I for, I kind of forget. Like when maybe they were maybe in panther not, form. About it. it was. Yeah. Yeah. I must have just uh, spaced out the last time uh-huh. I just listened to it. But yeah. Hmm. but yeah, Matthew's just kind of spreading it out. There's not going to be a character. Right now, for me, Xandis is my uh, favorite. Mm-hmm. He's um, the one they interact with the most right now anyway, the, the NPC. They, they sort of deal with the most. So I, yeah. I have a feeling, I have a feeling this, uh, what's her name? Um, where'd it go? And da, 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 Nope, not there. It's right, it's right in front of you. Aniline. Uh, Annaline, Annaline, the were tiger, the the leader, the one that's leading this Gorgonai village. Um, she, I have a feeling she's going to come quite prominent in the next few episodes. Uh, we'll see what this test actually is that this trial that uh, that Chetney's going to have to do. But um, dude, yeah. what's going on with this fucking situation? They're just taking a detour. Whatever happened to the urgency of getting somewhere before Thule gets other things done? Weird, isn't it? I know. It's like they, th- they could have chose to go around the mountains, yep. but now they're going through the yep. mountains, and then they're just well, taking they, a stop? What's going on here? Because this is this. they had talked about this way back when. Sure. When they were first in Drasar, when they first met Chetney, and he was he met his buddy uh, Gurge, or whatever the guy's name was. Yeah, Gurge. He told, but, he yeah, first it's like told if we land in these... Seattle, I'd love to go to Bellingham. Sure. Right, right. For 30 so they, minutes. You know? the, when they're in the gloom jungles of Ashenador, it's yeah, it's gonna be. I don't know. I think this is a art, just a small little mini arc, character arc. Yeah, sure. I don't know. But again, that goal, like the still reason like, they chose to go over the Hellcat, it's still is, a couple of weeks away. It's still a few weeks away. They're still pretty two and a half weeks or so. He said, so it's still some time. It's yeah. I don't know. It's just they listen, men. They, Why their, are they their urgency to... in the beginning was to make sure that Odahan didn't get right. through with whatever she was doing. Why are they going to EOS then? Like, just they're I going to EOS to know. learn more stuff. I know it's it, they're learning. They they need to learn more stuff about what the moon means, and I don't know. So they're, they're not find really out. chasing Thule. They're just like, hey, let's get these things done not before anymore. we get trying, to her. Just trying to learn stuff at this point. I, I don't, don't know. know. Things are kind of up in the air for me right now. I'm not mm-hmm. exactly sure what the fuck they're doing. It's a little. It's a. There's a lot going on. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, another rolly. We can get through a couple more rollies sure. real quick. I got. I got like one more, maybe. So let's make it quick. Let's go. Ooh, Nineteen. Nine. Up to you, buddy. Cool. Okay. The one that I wanted. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where I'm gonna be go? really quick with mine. If uh, if we go, there, if we do there, any more. Yes. Here it is. At at three. This is right before they meet the Gorgonai. It's a quick little DM note I wrote down for myself. Um. At three hours, ten minutes, and forty seconds, Ashley does a perception check she rolls a 21 and then matt's like 21 and she's like no 22 and he's like 22 that makes a difference that makes a difference yeah i don't actually care if it did make a difference it's the the fact that he they all went ooh. this is <laughs> this was a mental note to myself to to 100 percent use that in a setting when one of my players when they roll uh 15 15 and they go oh no sorry 16 i'm like oh that oh. makes a difference yeah and i'm, I'm gonna 100 percent use that i don't even care if it changes anything i'm no, gonna make, make it, it change up something make it up on the spot it is it 100 engages everybody at the table I and it, say- it gets everybody involved and it's suddenly the agency is off the that that agency recognition is off the chart and I'm, i mean I, I think it's wonderful and i'm I, thank you matthew mercer because i am using that 
I got to retract that. I got to (laughs) retract what I said, uh, make it up. No, I do not condone making it up. I would rather you had it made uh, already planned out beforehand, premeditated, Mm -hmm. and you already had a DC in your mind, Mm -hmm. you know, and with this number, 21 versus 22. Right. I mean, it really seems to steer itself towards he made it up in the spot. Could do, could you know? do. It's a weird number. It it could have been that their their stealth check was a twenty two, and he they were just trying to okay. twenty one. Good point. And he was just Good trying point. to beat the twenty one. Sure. Right. Like he may he may have been like I'm gonna set it at twenty one. And that'll be their stealth, and then it's all good. And she's like, he's like twenty one. Well, that meets it, beats it. So, or wait, it'd be no, it'd be twenty two. It meets so a pizza. Is that what you said? No, meets it, beats it. So the so it was probably twenty two, and then he was like twenty one. Yeah, you didn't quite make it. Oh, twenty two. Well, that does make a difference. It could be, but sure. maybe not. I I yeah. actually don't even really care if it if it was twenty two or not. I uh, don't care. Sam, we know you're watching. We know you're listening. He does the same thing when he GMs. You yeah. know, he's sitting there. Yes. Somebody rolled something in that in that Nord thing. I know you're doing it again, dude. No, no, fuck it. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. You're done. I'll never get it. You don't, you don't get that shit back. It's, it's, reap what you sow, you son of a bitch. No. I'll roll for you if I need to. Um, what Sam does... Yeah, sit there and look guilty, you, you bastard. Uh, what Sam does, like, I think I it happened in the Nord, uh, just the, just this last Nord one-shot. Was a uh, he was like uh, roll whatever and they were like uh, twelve. It's like eleven is what you needed. And then right. immediately afterwards he said like I made that up. <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> he's absolutely. just poking fun at it. You well, can doing, make it up any time, well, especially because they started it off in eight bit and they're only rolling D8s. Right. Like get the fuck out of here. What does that even mean? Which all the just graphics making, were sixteen bit to start sh- off with, but yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Liam pointed up. that out. Making shit up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well then, hey, uh, since you just did a timestamp, I'm going to do another timestamp. Uh, okay. At 4.07.55 on the okay. Twitch stream, not the, not the uh, uh, yeah, that's what we talk. That's what we talk about. They were talking about, oh, uh, it puts the lotion on the skin, you know, because they were talking <laughs> Buffalo, about how they yeah. had the, the, the hide bit. stretchers, you know? Yes. You know, like, oh, they, that made that, fucking... I would hunt you. <laughs> yeah, that's the reference I'm talking about. He said, would you hunt me? That yeah. was the question. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody yeah. got it. Yep. And I don't know what this reference is. Is it's it Buffalo, Hannibal? It's Buffalo Bill. It's, it's this is Buffalo Bill. Buffalo this Bill. Is, yeah, this is the this is Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Silence of the Lambs or Hannibal? Yes. Uh oh Jesus, it might be either or because I think the it's, lotion on the skin is Hannibal, isn't it? No, lotion on the skin is Silence of the Lambs. That's Silence of the Lambs, okay. It puts the lotion, it puts the lotion in the basket or it gets the hose again. That's from Silence of the Lambs, That's not Silence Hannibal. Of the Lambs. That's Buffalo okay. Bill. And I'm fairly certain the hunt one is from Buffalo Bill as well. Okay. I think he, so he says, says it Would also. you hunt me? Because he looked yeah. right at Travis and after Travis yeah. made the reference to yes. uh either yeah. was Silence of the Lambs. Fairly I didn't get the reference, certain. but they all got it. Yeah, and I've I'm seen both movies. Certain. It's Silence of the Lambs. I'm fairly certain that's Buffalo Bill. Like, would you hunt me? Like, who says it? What's going on? Like, I is it is it is it Judy Foster? Jody it. Foster no, saying it? I think Buffalo Bill says it. I think he to says whom? that to her. I think he's like, I'm hunting. I'm hunting. I'm looking for something. And I was like, Would you hunt me? I think I don't and remember. She was exactly. hunting. I'm like, Yeah, exactly. I, I don't remember exactly, but I did catch. I'm pretty kind certain of catching from, her in a little fucking. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I could look it up if we wanted to, but uh, you know, okay, because they all seem to get it, and I just really felt like I was left out. No, <laughs> I, I got it right away too. I'm like, that's from that's also from Silence of the Lambs. That is that's and I'm fairly certain it's Buffalo Bill. Okay, fair enough. Hey, uh, I'm like ninety percent sure. I'm gonna throw one more out just uh, without okay. a rolly. Uh, sure. Uh, what was going on with Sam's jug? Oh, it's from the it's from I had I, I didn't really understand it either. I was like, why is it, it was his, it was his Emmy? He was carrying. He was carrying a giant Emmy. A giant in what? In his hands. A Emmy. His daytime. The, the, he's, he's the only Emmy Award winner there, right? Oh, so he, okay. He I got that a, impression. A bunch of years ago, he won that Emmy, the daytime Emmy for his directorial blah, blah, blah. The And it was it was a... Uh, I had to look this up in uh, Reddit. It was a take on last week's episode, number 39, where the screen on YouTube, the screen cap is him carrying Marisha, and they okay. he took Marisha out and put the Emmy there instead. That's <laughs> that was the whole thing. Yep, because they did get a, like a pause from Matthew yep. and a, like they you know, all a nice they all just went hiatus. oh god oh god yeah. 
the humble the hum, so that was the just whole thing the it's most like humble, humble man on the exactly. table yeah, yeah at the, the table. humility the humility right yeah gotcha. yeah that, that's what it was <laughs> yep well shit man i mean i've got one more I'm, but it's not important and i, I, actually, I i'm good i, I, I was i was it. getting like I, I would just say that the gorgonai village really gave me good rumble cusp vibes the vo community i was getting that all over again from campaign two um the uh, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be i'm really excited i'm kind of bummed out there's a few weeks off here because <clears throat> this this um trials of fortitude and will for chetney are going to be fun to watch yeah for sure and we just got to wait for it yep. and uh as i was saying before i don't remember if we we're on stream or not i might want to podcast about these episodes man because it's mighty, mighty nine, nine and we're mighty very nine intimately reunited. involved with them I've said this before to you, and I'll say it again. I loved Campaign 1. I love Campaign 3. I think Vox Machina is the tits. I think Bell's Hells is super interesting. The Mighty Nine is still tops on my list. It's the, it's the, the It is my favorite of the three. You know what I was thinking today when I was mm -hmm. uh, doing that third listen through? I was thinking, WWJD, what would Jester do? Mm -hmm. Like, in that situation where uh, uh, Chetney... They were like, show us, show us your true form, you know, like, yeah. show us your real power. <laughs> and he did like, without a fucking beat. He was like, all right, so like Magic Mike, I take these things off. Yes. I grab the tree and get the rain on me. Yeah. <laughs> and at that moment, I was thinking, if Jester was here, what would she do? She would start dancing around and do some kind 100%. of fucking, she would do so, some, something. Absolutely. She would absolutely. be like the most amazing thing. And they'd be like, what the fuck are these yeah. people? Pure... That that was that's the thing about Jester is she was pure id, pure just, id, just yep. pure. Yep. You know, which is wonderful, and I think that's one totally. of the reasons that the Mighty Nine is probably going to, you know, be it's, the peak at the moment. It's so at good. Least. It's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, hey, hats off to you, Laura. Yeah. You know, yeah, we, yeah. Know you, we know you're watching. And listen, it, in all honest, in all honesty, it didn't start out that way. The first few episodes of the Mighty Nine, when they were meeting, were like, oh, "This is I don't know how's this working." They're all, they're all like not good people. They're all. It was not, new for everybody. Yeah, it was really new. Yeah, them most new importantly. for them. Yeah, their their accents changed each episode. Yeah, that's was, right, if, motherfuckers. I'm doing this the whole campaign. Yep. <laughs> you know. Yep. <clears throat> that's right. Uh, hey, listen, um, I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. You mean just like in general? I mean, you know. Well, yeah. I'm a little bit sore, but it's in a good way because uh, I, you know, okay. haven't done these power cleans in a long time. But okay. You know, <laughs> so that's, I'm sure that's what you're referring to. That's 100% not what I meant. Good job. Absolutely. <laughs> way off page. I'm, I'm putting my notes away and I'm going to, I'm going to say goodnight. My book has been closed, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Um, next week, we don't have uh, one of these episodes, but we do have campaign two so like what we were just saying we we'll might be little, here next week play it we by ear and see what we're happens see what happens yeah. if we're not here we're not going to say anything if we mm -hmm. are here catch the episode that's it totally um and yeah i think it goes without saying with any uh non-campaign three episodes just like hey we might put one up if you're subscribed then you'll mm -hmm. you'll see it so totally. yeah no big deal so we wrap up then okay. all right cool uh yeah get in touch uh comments are the best way to get in touch with us uh Ben never knows where anything is. So, you know, make it easy for him. Just put comments down there. And it's better. Like last time I left a comment, you just have to say, hey, Ben, with an exclamation mark. Don't don't tag him or anything. He just when he reads it, he'll be like, oh, that's me. Oh, so, yeah, do that. If you want to talk to Ben, if you want to talk to me, you can just leave a message. It's fine. That's just how Ben works. We know each other. <laughs> anyway, if you want to get in touch, I really right down D20. there. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, spread the word. Um, we've noticed, uh, there was a bit of a jump in a viewer count in this last thing, yeah. which is great, which is, mm -hmm. which means that, uh, some friends are talking with each other. That's know? cool. So, uh, anybody who's a secret listener, get involved, getting, getting, you know, get yeah, man, be part like, of the conversation. We, we love, we love answering all your questions. Yeah. If you want to challenge mm -hmm. us, like, you know, like Hamilton I'm about to open did. Open up Pandora's box there. <laughs> um, but but yeah, definitely. If you got a thing to say, we'll 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 mention you and we'll talk about you and we'll answer all your questions. Absolutely, we do like it genuinely. Genuinely, if we we really do. like. It, we might even plug something that you're doing, but mm. we haven't gotten there yet. But you know, I'm I'm talking about synergy over here, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You okay, know, okay. like if they help us out, sure. then we help them out. You know, it's kind of a tit for tits, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of tit for tits, I can't wait for my goddamn gear to show up. So many sleeveless shirts and dice. 
Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, well, hey, man, if there's nothing else... I'm good. All right. Uh, y'all, don't forget to fucking love each other. And is it finally Friday or hey. next Friday? Peace, y'all. Come on back next week. Or... Uh, I'm done. Uh-uh.